Sometimes we're going to want to bring a maybe a photo into our system or into the software specifically, or maybe a photo that we took or maybe a sketch that we did if we uh, want to just get it into the program really fast and we don't want to scan it, different things like that. There's uh, different options for getting stuff into the program. And let's just see how we can bring a file, like a photo that we are, like a JPEG file that we already have on our computer. So all we need to do is go to File and Import and click on Image. And I'm just going to use this James Joyce photo that I found on Wikipedia that is public domain. So I'm using it widely. <laughs> um, so this is just the photo and it lets us select it, I mean not select it, uh, treat it as an object and rotate it. And if we want, want to make further selections, we could rasterize it, rasterize it, rasterize. You can, um, you know, go to edit and change the tone settings. Oh, I guess you can't do that until you rasterize it. Uh, you can transform it. Oh, I guess you can't do that either until you rasterize it. So a lot of things you need to do to, you need to rasterize first. Uh, let's see. So if I did want to do that, I could just um, right click and rasterize. And now I could make changes to it that I wanted to. So that is how you bring an image into the, the program. I'm going to delete this by James Joyce and bring in the next option, which is as a, uh, it's going to take our image, whatever image it is, and just make a pattern of it all across the page. And you can make your own patterns too, obviously. So think about that as you, if you need patterns in clothes and, you know, a carpet or something like that, wallpaper, this may be a useful tool. So again, let's go to import, but now we're going to do import pattern from image. So I don't have very many photos in here right now. So I'm just going to use this Rosa Parks image also in the public domain. And as you can see, it just makes multiple copies of the image and if I make it larger, it'll just make it larger. If I make it smaller, it makes it smaller. All the way down so that it's just practically unre unrecognizable at that point. And if I, uh, I can of course also rotate it, expand it. And as always, if you expand beyond a certain limit, it's going to start to pixelate and not look as well. But uh, yeah, that is how you bring an image in. And then again, you can you can rasterize it when you're done setting it up and make further changes on it. In addition to these, you can go up to File, and if you have a scanner, go to Import and click on Scan and set up your scanner and so on. Select your scanner device and bring an image in that way. So I do not have a scanner, so I will not be showing you that. But that is how you do that if you do have a scanner. So this is how we can bring an image into our main uh, onto the canvas itself, but sometimes we don't want it in the canvas. We just want it so that we can look at it and maybe refer to the colors or refer to it when we're drawing a sketch of something and we want to like kind of use it as reference or maybe just like I said as a color picker um, th that may be useful. So we actually have this area right next to the navigator. It's a separate tab. I'm going to make this larger first and click on it. It is the sub view. And there's a folder right here, which means it'll open and import an image. So just click on that and I could bring in a, a photo again. And it's here for us to explore and use as reference. And we can also, of course, release it and make it uh, larger for reference. You can make it so it fits in the, the panel no matter what size it is, which is nice. And yeah, this is very useful. That is your sub view. I'll put it back. And you can actually, I mean, you can put more images in here and then you can have several images and just click on these arrows to kind of slide through them. And you can zoom in and so on. And you can, when you're done, you can just press the trash folder. So those, those are some different ways you can import images into the program. I just realized there is another way you can import an image into your program. And so we talked about you could import it onto the canvas you're already working on, and you can also import it into your uh, sub view. 
but you can also just open the file like if it's a jpeg for example as a separate you know a separate file in here and work on it like that if you want or even add layers to it so let me show you what i mean so if i go to file and open i'm just going to open this file that i did apparently i did it on may 12th 2015 and when I open it, it just opens as a separate tab. And you'll notice over here in our layers, even though um, I originally did it with layers, I exported it as a JPEG, and now it's just this one layer. There's no paper layer even. But I can always just add layers on top of this if I want to work on it further. But I won't have the same control because it is a JPEG to, you know, to work with this in quite the same manner. But you can still do a lot with it from here. And if you wanted to, like, for example, use this as a reference for your current canvas, you could just uh, actually just detach it and you could modify it like that. Um, let's see. So I could, like, leave it as a you know, like a little reference or something, or if I needed to sample it and then work on my other one, I could do that. So if I wanted this color, for example, I could and then go in and have it, whatever I wanted to do, work kind of with that right next to next to my view, similar to the sub view, but providing a few more options. And then uh, when I was done with it, I could just close it. So that is just one more option for kind of importing a pro an image into the program and working with it.